Back at it. We just got back with a load of two by fours, 10 footers, and we are currently, what's up boys? What's up? We're working on building a loft today. They already got tons of stuff done this morning. Again, I didn't get it all on camera because there's just so, there's too much to film. Like my camera literally cannot hold that many hours for the storage to upload the videos. But they got this wall a coat, this wall a coat. They did their third coat on these walls over here so they're actually starting to look really white. They coated everything else again. They did in the stalls, everything. We're actually opening the stalls back up so that the horses can come in and get plenty of water. Um, but we had to have these closed off for just a couple hours here. I've got an idea in mind for building this loft up above here and making it more structurally safe and sound. Uh, right now, they basically just have boards laying on top of there, which is fine, we were standing up there. The boards weren't really like unsafe. There's no cracking, there was no nothing like that, but you could tell the boards, you could see the movement underneath, like a little bit of flexing because there's no bracing underneath to tie everything together front to back to make it stronger. So that's what we're gonna be working on today is bracing and strengthening the loft. And not only that, but we're going to be putting a railing on the loft up there, which again, some people might think, uh, what's the point of the railing on the loft? You know, But the point of the railing on the loft is so that if like, for example, my wife, when she's not pregnant, has to get up there for storage stuff or you know, to throw hay over to the horses or whatever, and which is gonna be the goal for this, which is hay storage. This is the ladder, we're building a ladder up the side. We've got uh, some forged screws. Um, we're gonna be fastening everything, making sure it's sturdy and solid. But the main point is this is gonna be on time lapse for you guys right now. They got a bunch of the rungs for the ladder all cut up and uh, we're gonna be building out the loft and making it a lot safer. So you guys think we can get a lot of this done right. in an hour? All the way. What do you think? All the, all the way, way done? Oh, well, well, we'll find out. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. It's just a bunch of two by fours measuring, cutting, and piecing. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I don't think it'll be too bad. So, we're gonna set you guys up right now and get to rolling. <laughs> The boys are heading out. They did another six hours with me today, putting in work. So let me show you what we got done. So we did get the ladder installed, as you can see, and we ran four inch screws. We did some bracing back behind her. There was kind of a gap because of the board down on the ground. We ran her in there and then it kind of laid onto the wall nice and evenly. And we did spacing 12 inches apart. I thought that was pretty standard. It, it feels really comfortable climbing up and down. Not too far, not too close. But So we got the ladder put on. It is freaking solid. It's not going nowhere. I mean, it's, it's really nice. We did do a side railing up there. That's just like a little safety precaution in case Reagan at some point does go up there to throw hay over to the horses or something. Um, it's safe to where you don't have to worry about losing your footing and falling over. And same with over on the wash rack side, there's a board we spaced it out even between the top and the bottom spacing there. Um, of the flooring of the actual, you know, thing. And it's it's the same height as the other side. And what we basically did was we took some two by fours, we ran them along the bottom to kind of act as like a center beam. And we have, again, four inch screws fastened in there, tied into that post. Same on this side. I could use another one or two if I wanted, but I think that's, I don't think the integrity of the actual, this purpose, of the boards is gonna be much different if I added another one on each side or not, but uh, I don't think it's gonna really change a whole lot. But then we ran these spaced out evenly all the way to the back, gave them the same spacing from the wall to here as we did from the wall to the front of the board, screwed up against the post, that way the spacing is the same, same on that side. And then what we did was we leveled out this board up on top tacked it in through the stall side, which you can see right there. Those two screws right there. And then we fastened those, again, four inch into there. 
And then what we did was the boards were a little bit sagged. They were sagging down just a little bit. So what we ended up doing was I had the boys, they each took one and they pushed it up. And then we fastened two screws into each one, four inch as well, into here, into there. And then what we did on top, we'll go up onto our loft here. And then let me show you on top. So then on top we just ran one four inch screw down through in each board all the way down on each board on each side all the way front to back and I thought that was plenty sufficient again here's the view from up top here and let me show you kind of like what our next our next steps gonna be so obviously if we have the loft the steel roof which let me tell you that is what we're planning on right now. We changed route to thinking about just running steel, which a lot of you guys recommended, and we are taking those recommendations into consideration. Running steel across, running a bunch of two by fours for more contact places for screwing up the steel. But we'll get to that in another video because there's a lot to go over. But basically running a bunch of two by fours between all the rafters and tacking white sheets of steel up and then having a door, and this is where this comes to play. Up here, you're gonna be able to get up here and have access to basically a door that'll flip up on a hinge that you can basically like hook onto here so it can be out of the way. But then what that'll allow is for somebody to spray insulation and loosely from the center of the barn all the way around from one place that's nice and safe and easy to get to. But also, if we're gonna do this loft area anyways, we might as well have the access point to the barn attic in one spot even though we're not going to be storing anything in it we're not going to be using it for that that's not the purpose of it but if we did you know uh, this would be the place to do it so anyways that's where we're at right now that's the uh that's the plan but what we're also going to be doing is we have some boards up here until my batteries were all dead and they didn't charge up fast enough because those four inch screws take up a lot of battery we're going to be building some framing that goes across here and stands up across this two by four to wall it off. We're gonna have to frame off this wall um, and run some OSB basically just from here up because we're gonna have to put a wall along here and then of course along here with that one hatch door in the you know center that'll flip up. Um, reason for that is if the rest of the whole thing is gonna have a steel you know ceiling with insulation blown in we're gonna have to shut this off from the rest of it so that the heat will actually stay contained and insulated which means up on top here we're gonna have to just run insulation in between here and I'm probably gonna tack OSB up to these two by fours that are spaced out 24 inches apart we're probably gonna do that for up here uh, just because you know we don't need to have the steel up here and it'll be it'll be easy to do that way so anyways that's where we're at right now it's all functional it all works we're of course not done with this we're far from done with the loft and there's a lot of other stuff just to do. But I hope you guys are enjoying it, you know? It's one of those things that right now I'm still waiting on my blue project first gen to get here and so I'm like, you know what? Let's try to freaking get this shop done as much as we can because I would love to be able to have the ground not covered with, you know, building clutter and insulation and scrap wood clutter and just I would love to just use everything up and get it done that way when we do get that truck back in the next few days here hopefully this is mostly buttoned up but can't promise that but that's the goal I hope you guys enjoyed the video please let me know what your feedback is on the shop content the shop progress any input from you guys would be appreciated I look forward to seeing the comments every day please leave a thumbs up if you want to watch more videos like this don't forget to subscribe because approximately 50% of you guys watching are not subscribed yet so hit that subscribe button from red turn it to gray turn on your bell for the notifications join the team join the family I'll catch you guys in the next video peace